Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers. So what I want to do in this video is I need to fulfill an order for some labels. Um, I've got two different order or two different counts or styles on the same order. There's 150 of one style and 75 of the other. So I'm going to show you what it's going to take to fill an order like that. Um, this is an Etsy order I have. So I'm charging, I, I think this one came out to about $50, so I don't always divulge prices and all that, what I'm charging, um, but I think this one came out to $50, so it's gonna, you're going to see how long it's going to take me to make $50, basically. So I'm going to try to do this real time. When I have to go to the computer and um, print something off, I might edit out that part just so that y'all don't get bored watching the video, but I will time it on my trusty Seiko Turtle here and um, I'll let you know exactly how long it takes, okay? So, I'm gonna get going. Um, let me see, let me get started here. All right, and we're starting up right now. So, I need to get the blank core that I'm gonna use to put it on. Use this one here, it has the label. This one had blank ones on there. I'm gonna take off the label from the company that I got it from, which is wasting some time here, but I'm gonna do it. Right now I have it set up to two and a half inch. I need to put it on one and a half inch. Alright, now I need to change the label size because I have two and a half inch in there right now. For these ones, I'm just using paper. I don't use BOP on these. It's high gloss paper. These are throwaway labels. They're going to be used just one time and then thrown away. They're not going on products, they're for throwaway items. Now I need to get the register or the, uh, the sensor lined up. Alright, so there is somewhat of a trick on doing the one and a half inch. You don't want the sensor to be all the way over. I have it set to the second stop from all the way over. And I find that that's what works good. So I'll test it out and make sure. Now 
Now I'm going to go in and set my print position back to zero. I always like to start at zero and then figure out where I need it to be at. All right, now I'm going to run a media detect, a, a gap detect. all this so I'm going to feed it back in. print off some test labels. I always, I always print off at least three of them to see where I'm at. And I can see they need to come way down. Where I had the position at before was probably correct. It was at one negative 1.2 so I'm going to put it back there and just see what that does. Okay, so it didn't get it anywhere near as close as I thought it would. Looks like it needs to come way down. Let's see what that does. Alright, that's a lot closer. Yeah, I feel like an old man. I always have to take my glasses off to look. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring it down a little more and see if I like it better. Alright. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to go with that. I got to print 150. All right, I set it to print 160 so I can have a few extra. All right, I'm going to pause it so I can get it uh, attached where I want it. Make sure I have slack in it to unpause it. Now I turn on the rewinder, but not full power. And then now you can just walk away. Sometimes you have to adjust this, maybe. But actually, I'm going to bring it in tighter right now. Actually, I want to fix that. It's not uh, it's not getting on there very tight. 
So I'm going to loosen up the tension so I can push back everything onto the roll all the way around it. So then, and then I can tighten it back up. I need to get this bar a little bit closer. It wasn't close enough. That should be good. Now I gotta have slack in it when I unpause it. Alright, now you can just walk away. And then just check on it every now and then. It's at 45 right now. I gotta do 150 of them. Or it's gonna print 160. at 128 right now. So we're almost done. Now the rest of these are just extra. tape on it sideways to try to minimize how much label I mess up in case they want to try to reuse or you know still use these two labels right here. The reason I make extra is because you mess up a couple of labels by putting the stickers on or the tape on it. Alright so there's 150 on there now I just got to do 75 of the other and then we'll be done. Since this is the same roll, and we already set the registration or the calibration, we shouldn't have to do much. It depends on how my image is set up in the computer. Alright, so I'm just going to get it set up real quick here.
Alright, so this one's off. I'm only going to do one direction at a time as far as making the adjustments because otherwise you get thrown all off. So it's bringing too far down, I moved it just another millimeter up top. And uh, it looks way better. I'm going to move it a little bit to the left now. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, I really like the way that looks. I'm going to go back the other way just barely at all. Alright, now I think we're good to go. Um, I got to print 75 of, the, 75 of these, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to 85 and just print a few extra. So that's like 41, 42, so we're at least about halfway there right now. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't take very long once you get it set up. Uh-oh, did something there and slipped a little bit. That's okay though. I think I have the bar a little too tight now. We're at 67. say that took us 20 22 minutes we'll say might have been a little bit less I'll say 22 minutes so and uh, ready to go just got to package it up now and ship it out so that took about 22 minutes to make $50 so a little bit of that is the shipping but still that's not bad for just 22 minutes <laughs> 